So, you're thinking of moving to Sun City Hilton Head and you're trying to decide which section do I want to live in? Well, that's perfect because in today's video, we're gonna be comparing and contrasting the different sections of Sun City, the pros, the cons, the good, the bad, everything you wanna know. So don't go anywhere, we're getting started right now. Do you want to know everything there is to know about the South Carolina Low Country, whether it's Bluffton, Beaufort, Hilton Head Island, or Jasper County? Then subscribe below and tap that bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know everything happening here. My name is David Simcox, host of the channel and a local real estate agent. I get calls and emails every day from people just like you and you and you looking to make their move here and I absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in three days, three months, or even three years, give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text, or book a Zoom call all in the description below so I can help you find your low country lifestyle. So today we're gonna to be going inside my computer and we're going to be looking at the different sections of Sun City Hilton Head to kind of look at the pros and the cons and you know what they have in common and what makes them different so you can decide what is the best section for you. So without further ado, let's go inside my computer. All right guys, so we are in my computer here and all of these red marks on the computer are basically all the sold properties over the past 120 days. And so first and foremost, let me just zoom out and show you where Sun City Hilton Head is in case you don't know. Sun City Hilton Head is actually not in Hilton Head. So Hilton Head Island is over here and everybody has heard of that. It's a major tourist destination. It's been around, you know, as a, a tourist spot since the 1950s and Sun City is actually about 20 miles inland and part of it is in Jasper County which is in this this side over here and part of it is in Beaufort County and the dividing line is this highway 278 that runs right through the middle if you keep going past that you're going to come over here to I-95 and this runs north and south down here to uh, past Savannah down to Georgia and uh, Florida. And then if you go north, of course, you're going up to uh, New York and, and the Northeast. So anyway, this is Sun City. And there are really four sections of Sun City. The original section, which is known as the South Side, and that is everything down here below Highway 278. And this was the original section that they developed. And a lot of these were built, you know, up to 25 years ago. I mean, it's been around for quite a while. And then the north section, which is right here, and this has really been built out kind of in the last 10 years. And this is actually Jasper County. And then you have this section over here, which is called River Bend. And that's actually like the custom home section. And it's unique because it's maybe the only 55 and better community that has a custom home section. Comment below and tell me if, if you know of another 55 and better that does have a custom home section. And then the last section over here is just across Argent Boulevard. And all of this, even though it looks like there's some trees here, this is an old satellite image. And this is the new section. This is where they're building right now. If you were to come and build a new construction house, this is where it would be. And uh, this is all cleared out now. So hopefully they'll update this satellite image pretty soon. So all four sections of Sun City, the south side, the north side, the riverbend section, and the new section, all of them have you know, pros and cons. So that's what we're gonna talk about today and we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. So the first section that I'm going to talk about is the original section and this is known as the south side or the original side. So this section, it's actually in Beaufort County, okay? Now the other sections, this is Jasper County, this is Jasper County and the Riverbend section is also Beaufort County. But the first pro to living down here on the south side 
is it is currently a lower tax rate. So a good way to kind of estimate the taxes is to say it's about half a percent of the purchase price. The second pro to living on the south side, it has more mature landscaping. And that's something that really sticks out when I drive people around in my car and I take them on the tour of this facility. It's been around for a long time and it's meticulously maintained. And honestly, it looks like the Garden of Eden in there. I mean, it's one of the most beautifully landscaped neighborhoods I've ever been in. They're always planting the gardens, all the trees, all the grass, everything is so immaculate. The lagoons, everything is just so beautiful over there. I definitely think that that is a huge benefit to living on the south side. Now let's talk about the first con to living on the south side over here. The con is because these were built before, these are older homes and older homes means you know maybe a little bit outdated floor plans some of the floor plans are more partitioned not as many open floor plans even things like uh, you know just the popcorn ceiling and uh, maybe older materials or the cabinets are a little bit dated and uh, some of them have been completely redone and some of them you know are kind of a little bit dated from the 90s and, and the early 2000s. So you just have to kind of either be okay with that or know that you're gonna go in and do some, uh, some updating when you move in there. Another con, I don't know if this is true or not, but actually one of my viewers said this and, uh, and I've heard it a couple times from people that live in there and I don't actually think this is like super accurate all the time, but somebody said the south side can be just a little clicky meaning the people that have lived in the little subsections, like if they're back in one little cul-de-sac, everybody that's lived on that street maybe has been there for 10 or 15 or 20 years. So they all know each other and you know they've been around each other for a long time. So if you happen to buy one of those houses, you're basically like the new kid on the block. So it might be you know a little bit harder to, to fit in with the folks that have been there for a long time. To where if you buy over in a new section, and we'll talk about that later, Everybody's moving in together at the same time, so it, people have said it's a little easier to make friends over there. The other uh, negative, while we're talking about cons, is because it's in Beaufort County, Beaufort County is higher insurance because it's a coastal county. So, um, you know, there's different things, fees that balance out, but the, the insurance is going to be a little bit more. But on the flip side of that, let's talk about the pro. It's lower taxes and it's also a lower POA or property owner association. So if I go in here, let me go to active so you can see the POA fees. So on the south side over here, the POA fee is $2,592 per year. And then if you go over here to the north side, your POA fee is going to be $3,425 per year. And that's partially because on the north side, they do all of your landscaping for you. And on the south side, you're gonna be responsible for either mowing your own grass or hiring somebody to do, to do that. And so that's why they charge uh, a lower POA fee down here. I would say another pro to living on the south side is there are some incredible lots. And some of the views on some of these lots simply don't exist anywhere else in the neighborhood. You'll have views of a lagoon looking across to a golf course, which backs up to woods. And it's just like this amazing view that doesn't matter where else you buy it, you're not gonna find those. And so there are some really, really, really pretty lots on the south side that you're just not gonna have anywhere else. The other pro to living on the south side is I feel like you get a little bit more for your money and you're able to buy things for a little bit less. So there are some homes that are in uh, lower price points. You'll find some in the 300s and 400s. Uh, the cost per square foot tends to be a little bit less uh, simply because some of them are older, some of them are dated, some of them need updating. Um, but if you are buying and you're on a little bit of a budget or if you just want the most for your money, uh, sometimes the south side is a good place to look. Here's a con about the south side, and I don't know if this bothers you. Uh, it doesn't really bother me, but some people it does. 
there's kind of a mixture of quality on the south side uh, and different materials like some houses have stucco some have vinyl siding some have hardy plank and so it's not very uniform uh, to where on the north side and the other sections they're building strictly with hardy plank so everything is kind of the same quality so i don't know comment below tell me if that bothers you or not um, not a big deal for me but for some folks you know that is an issue all right so now we are going to move on to the next section so this is the north side so this is the section that's been built out really in the last 10 years or so and uh, this is jasper county so jasper county let's just get to the first negative it has higher taxes so taxes in jasper county if you want to estimate again this is not exact but it's going to be about one percent of the purchase price is your annual taxes so believe it or not that's about double what you're paying on the south side but again if you're coming from a high tax state it could still be negligible you could look at that and be like ah you know okay so on on five hundred thousand dollars i'm talking about twenty five hundred dollars in taxes versus five thousand dollars in taxes per year you know if i'm coming from new york or california or somewhere you may, might be like you know what that's pennies in the in the piggy bank it doesn't bother me and then what balances that out is on the north side in the jasper county side it is lower insurance because jasper county is considered a non coastal county so it doesn't exactly balance out dollar for dollar but um, that does kind of offset the cost of higher insurance and then another negative with the north side here when we talked about it just a second ago and that is that the poa fee is higher so the POA fee is $3,425 per year, but that also comes with a positive. The positive is they maintain your landscaping for you. So it really is a no maintenance, super easy, convenient way to live. The other positive I would say on the north side is it is really the newer floor plans and the newer materials. So you know, people that like the newest kitchens and the luxury kitchens and the open floor plans, the latest and greatest stone in the kitchen and everything over there is hardy plank siding. So it, it's kind of uniform quality and, and just newer. So even some of those might still be under warranty in some areas. But that also, the fact that this whole section is around 10 years old or less, means that let's go to another negative it was clear cut when they built it and then they have replanted all the trees and landscaping and foliage and it hasn't filled in as much as the south side so in my own personal opinion and you can comment below and tell me if you agree or disagree i feel like it's not quite as pretty to look at the gardens and all the landscaping but i don't know maybe it's just a little more clean i don't know Tell me what you think. Let's go to another possible negative. It depends on how you look at it. There are three golf courses in Sun City and the two on the south side are 18 hole championship courses and the 18 hole course on the north side is an executive course, which means it's shorter yardage. So, you know, the fact that there is a uh, executive course on the north side versus a championship, I don't know. You tell me if that's good or bad. Um, I put it down as a possible negative, but you can tell me what you think. The last pro for the north side is if you are a pickleball fanatic, this amenity center here on the north side is kind of pickleball central. Now there are other locations in Sun City that have pickleball courts, but the majority of the pickleball action is going on right here at this amenity center. They've got open play almost every day. And so if you are big into pickleball, uh, it might be nice to be able to uh, run over here. This amenity center, there's multiple amenity centers all throughout Sun City, but this one would be your closest amenity center. So I would say that that would definitely be a pro. So that is my pros and cons for the north side of Sun City. So comment down below. I'm sure I forgot something because I don't always think of everything. Uh, comment down below and tell me if you can think of another pro or another con 
to living on the north side of Sun City. All right, so now we are going to go across the street over here to River Bend. And believe it or not, a lot of people and even people I've met in Sun City have never even been over to River Bend. And River Bend is like the custom home section of Sun City. Now it's pretty much all built out. Uh, there's a couple of new homes still uh, being built in there. There may be one or two lots left, but for the most part, these are gonna be mostly resales. And because they're custom homes, you've got higher price points in here. So you can see 1.4 uh, million here, 865,000, 1.9 million uh, being listed right now, looking out over the water. So, you know, typically a higher price point, but the first pro to living in uh, this section is you're gonna have bigger lots. You're not gonna be right on top of each other. So just as an example, let's see, this is one that is for sale right now and this one is overlooking the marsh and it's actually on half an acre of land so that just tells you you know that is a huge huge property for sun city um, if i was if i were to go over here to the south side and i pull up one of these properties and i look at the lot size this one is only 7400 square feet which is actually less way less than a quarter acre so um, again it's it, you're going to get much bigger lots over there another pro to living in this section even though the houses are more expensive um, the poa is the same so if i click on this listing that's available right now you can see the poa fee here is uh, two thousand five hundred and ninety two dollars and if i go over here to the south side same POA fee, $2,592. So it doesn't matter if you're on the Riverbend section or if you're down on the south side. Um, again, POA fee is gonna be the same and you get access to all the other amenities throughout the entire Sun City campus, even though you're over here in the, the private gated custom home section of Riverbend. And then the flip side of that is everybody that lives in Sun City also gets to go over here to Riverbend if they want to. And Riverbend has uh, some cool features. Right down here on the water, they've got a, a very private pool. And my favorite feature is this dock that goes out onto the Okatee River. They've got um, a kayak launch station. You can fish, you can shrimp. Uh, you can do all kinds of things. It's great for bird watching. It's, it's one of the most beautiful places. If you come on tour with me and, and I show you around Sun City, that's one of the last places I'll take you because I know that that is like the icing on the cake. Now the con is you are going to be taking care of your own lawn over there because it is not on the north side and you're paying the lower POA. And because these lots are larger, that lawn care service could potentially be pretty expensive. You might be paying, you know, two or three times as much to take care of a half an acre lot as somebody down here on the south side that just has like an eighth or, or a quarter acre, or, you know, something smaller. Now, another con with this section, although there are some new construction, there are also quite a few homes that are somewhat dated. So a lot of people that have purchased these custom homes over here in the Riverbend section, um, if they're one of the more dated homes, you just have to go in knowing that you're gonna have to do some updates, some fluff and puff, some refurbishment to get it up to those current standards. And then the last con to the Riverbend section is this is the only section of Sun City that is not directly accessible without crossing a busy road. Uh, and this is Highway 170 and it is actually a pretty busy road and there's a stoplight right here so that does make it easy but when you leave this side gate of Sun City you're actually outside the gates now and you have to go on a public road, cross over the stoplight before you enter into that custom section. So it's not a real big deal. I mean, I do see people driving back and forth here on their golf cart and they go through the stoplight and it's not a great big deal. But if you don't wanna leave the campus of Sun City and you don't wanna to have to cross a, a fairly busy highway, um, you know, then maybe 
you wouldn't want to be in that section or at least you'd have to know you might have to drive your car over to some of the other amenities. All right, so now we are going to move on to the newest section. And this is across Argent Boulevard. So directly across from the north section is this new section right here. And I've actually made other videos that are specifically about this newest section. Uh, if you go back and wanna watch those, I've done drone flyovers, I've shown you the status, I've interviewed the sales reps over there and talked about the status of everything. But I'm just gonna talk about a few of the pros and the cons of living in this new section. Now, currently, there is not a bridge going back and forth between the north section and the new section. And so there is this kind of busy road that you have to go across, but there will be a bridge. So I'm not saying this one's not connected, but it's not connected yet. So eventually there will be a bridge going across from the north side over to this new section. Um, so that would be a pro, uh, but then there's a con that comes along with that. And the con is this bridge is only a golf cart and pedestrian bridge. They're not going to allow cars to cross that bridge. So if you live over in the new section and you want to come over and use the amenities uh, in any of these other sections, if you plan on driving your car, you are going to have to go through a stoplight and you're gonna to have to actually go out the gate and go in another gate to get through. Not that big a deal, but if you're in your golf cart, as most people are, um, you can just drive right across that soon to be coming golf cart bridge. Let's move on to one of the biggest pros to living in this new section. And this one I, I learned from the sales rep that I work with over at Sun City quite a bit, Alex, and I didn't really think about it, but it makes perfect sense. So everybody that is buying in the new section, they're all moving in at roughly the same time. So they're all moving out into that street at the same time. They're all closing within a few months of each other. Everybody's entering this new stage of life at the same time it's easy to make friends because everybody's looking to make friends. Everybody's, you know, looking to start this new phase and they're joining clubs and they're, you know, out networking and they're having little parties at their house and inviting the neighbors over. So I think it's really easy to fit in when you have neighbors that are all moving at the same time. So I think that's a huge benefit. Also, it's going to be the latest and greatest floor plans. Uh, they do take you know, user comments, they do listen to their buyers, and they're always adjusting the floor plans and the features and, and everything associated with the house um, for what people want most in the current day and age. So if you do buy that, you're gonna get that. You're also going to get a, a warranty if you want no hassle, you don't have to worry about a new roof coming or a new HVAC system eventually or anything. You know that this house is going to be no maintenance for quite some time. Um, the other positive is because this is in the Jasper County side, this does include your lawn care. So it's very low maintenance. You don't have to worry about mowing or anything like that. Another pro, I know there's a lot of pros here, is this is going to be the only section of Sun City that has sidewalks. And I think that's great. I think that's huge. You know, having somewhere, not that people are driving fast in Sun City, not like you're gonna get necessarily hit or anything, but it's nice to have that sidewalk uh, just to make it very pedestrian friendly. If you're out walking your dog, you're not having to worry about them at the end of their leash if a car's coming by. So I do think that's really great. Let's move on to a negative because there are some negatives over here. This is a giant construction zone. I mean, they have clear cut it, there's bulldozers. And you know, if you're just going into retirement and you're living in this new place and you wanna feel like you're in this resort, which it is a resort. I mean, this is the most amenitized sun city in the entire country. But you know, you move in and you wanna have this resort lifestyle, but you're living in a construction zone for the next you know, three, four, five years. Now they do quite a bit to mitigate that. So after you, after they finish your street, they typically reroute all the construction traffic to come through a different way in the back entrance. So they'll stop driving construction vehicles and workers past your house. So you really only have to put up with it while they're building out and finishing your street. But 
know that you're going to be in a construction zone for quite some time. A small negative, and this is a short-term negative, I think this will probably be solved in a couple of months, but uh, because they're still working on the guard gate and the entrances, right now, uh, there's no guard gate up, so anybody can drive in there. Uh, so to me, that's a little bit of a, you know, small security thing, you know, I, I think they probably should have put that in right at the beginning, but not a big deal. Uh, but right now, anybody can drive in and out of the new section because they haven't finished the guard gate and they haven't put that in yet. Now, by the time this video publishes, I could be eating my words and it could already be in because I see them over there working at the guard gate every day, building it out. So not a big deal. Um, and also another negative to living in the new section is it is Jasper County, so it is going to be higher taxes. We talked about that, uh, roughly 1% of the purchase price, not exactly, but that's a good estimate. And what goes hand in hand with that is a positive, which is the lower insurance rate of being in Jasper County. Small negative uh, right now, because they don't have this bridge going back and forth, uh, this Argent Road is pretty darn busy with a lot of traffic during the day and trying to get across over here uh, can be a little bit scary, to be quite honest. So I hope they get that figured out pretty quick uh, because it's, you know, it's a little uh, nail biting to go across that road, to be quite honest. I don't know if I mentioned this, if I'm, if I'm saying the same thing twice, forgive me, but the lots in this newer section are actually deeper than any other section. So um, that is definitely a pro. I would say the biggest pro and the final pro to living here in the new section is you are going to have the most amazing amenity center ever created in a 55 and better community. I think it's about $50 million or so that they're putting into that thing. And they've already got like $150 million worth of amenities in Sun City that you have access to everything. But this new amenity center is going to be a whole new level. I mean, they're gonna have resort style pool, another um, indoor track, I think indoor pickleball courts, they're gonna have an amphitheater for live music. Go to their website and check it out. I'm just listing a few things. It's gonna have a great workout facility, but it is going to be an absolutely incredible amenity center. And of course you can go anywhere you want in the entire Sun City campus, but being that close in proximity to the new amenity center, um, I think that that's huge. Now, of course, that comes with the flip side of the coin, which is that amenity center is not built yet. So um, they are, the, the groundwork is done, everything under the ground is done, the pipes and electrical. Um, they have not started to go vertical yet, but they are going to, but it's gonna be a couple of years away before that's done. So if you're buying in the new section, uh, you are going to have to go over to these other sections to access any of these other amenities. So anyway, um, I'm sure I left some things out, but those are my pros and cons to the four different sections of Sun City, the South Side, the North Side, the Riverbend Custom Home section, and the new home construction section. So anyway, comment down below, tell me what you thought of these pros and cons, or if I left any out, I'd love to hear from you. Um, and again, if I can help you find your low country lifestyle, be sure and give me a call, send me an email. Uh, you can shoot me a text, you can book a Zoom call, all in the description below. And uh, if you wanna stay up to date with the latest and greatest happening here, be sure and like, subscribe, and tap that bell for notifications so you'll know every time I drop a new video. I hope this was helpful to you. Be sure and tune in. We produce one to two of these videos a week, so we're always trying to put out some new content. And, uh, and if you ever have any ideas for things you wanna learn about, the, the low country in general or low country real estate, uh, comment down below that too, because I do make quite a few videos based on user comments. I'll say, yeah, that's a great idea. I need to cover that. So anyway, my name is David Simcox. It's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you. I hope to meet you in person at some point, but if not, I'll at least see you on the next video.